Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. In this video clip we're going to talking about solving quadratic equation and the method will be, that will be used is factoring. Let me say first that factoring is a very good method, however, it doesn't work for all quadratic equation. Okay, so uh, it's going to work for some quadratic equation. So let's take a look to number 27. 27, we have the quadratic equation uh, x squared plus 6x plus 8 equal 0. So basically what we need to do first is to factor out this uh, trinomial. And we're looking for two numbers whose product is 8, the sum is 6. And those are 4 and 2. 4 times 2 is 8, uh, 4 plus 2 is 6. So the factor form will be x plus 4, x plus 2. And obviously now we're going to put that equal 0. And uh, from here we're going to use what is called the zero product property. You see we have a product. This times this equals 0. And zero product property says nothing else than when you have a product equals to zero, those factor can be equals to zero. So x plus four equals zero or x plus two equals zero. And that gives us the solution x equals negative four. And this one x equals negative two. Go ahead and pause the video clip and try number 28. If you end up with this uh, solution x equals 5 twice, then you did a wonderful job. Uh, some of you may notice that is a perfect square, but I still use the diamond problem to factor out. Okay, let's take a look now on problem 29 and 30. And as you notice on these two problems, we do not have equals 0, we have equals 9x here. And the other one equals negative 4. So the first thing you want to do here is to make it equals 0. So that's the reason I'm going to subtract 9x. And now we have here uh, 18x minus 9x, that is 9x. Equals 0. We can still use factoring here. GCF as a technique. And that will give us x equals 0 here, right? And x plus 9 equals 0, which is going to give us x equals negative 9. Go ahead and pause this video clip and try number 30.
if you end up with uh, x equals negative 2 and x equals negative 1 for number 30, uh, then you did a wonderful job. Uh, you notice here we, we use uh, factoring using GCF. Yeah. 2, 6, and 4, they have a common factor of 2. And then I use the diamond problem for factoring the second binomial.